The first competition to recruit paramedics and EMS workers has been fierce over the last year or so. A lot of workers have been dropping out because of COVID. Well, and others have just left the profession entirely for more competitive pay. So now in Polk County, they are putting their money where their mouth is. County leaders are offering thousands of dollars in bonuses to paramedics who sign up. And as 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser found out, that is just the beginning of the county's commitment. We need to get more aggressive. We need to take things seriously. Polk County Fire Rescue Chief Robert Weech says the department has to be more competitive when it comes to hiring EMTs and paramedics. So he's come up with a $1.2 million recruitment plan. The hiring pool right now, for especially for paramedics, is quite thin. To make Polk County a more attractive, competitive place to work, Chief Weech's plan includes an $8,000 sign-on bonus for newly hired paramedics, a $2,000 a month stipend for 11 months so that newly hired EMTs can attend paramedic school, and creating a full-time position focused on recruitment. We're going to um, approach all the graduating EMTs at Polk State College and some of the other colleges and see if we can't persuade them to join Polk County Fire Rescue. Because they're so short handed due to competition, resignations and COVID. The county says EMS workers racked up nearly 90,000 hours of forced overtime last year, exhausting as they try to maintain safety and service. We've got a level of service here in Polk County Fire Rescue and Polk County community that they deserve. We work hard to make sure that they have it. We need to bring in the cream of the crop. Not the bottom of the barrel. I think that's money well spent. Florida pays traditionally low compared to where I lived up north. It's got to be necessary to get the qualified people. Polk County commissioners are on board unanimously approving the chief's recruitment plan, but they aren't willing to just throw money at recruits only to see them take that training elsewhere. Those newly hired employees must commit to working in Polk County for four years or pay the stipend and bonus money back. Polk County's firefighter union says while it supports the chief's plan, they'd also like to see the county address pay increases for those already doing the job. Polk Fire Rescue says it saw nearly 80 employees resign since the beginning of last year. They currently have 60 open positions. The American Ambulance Association has asked Congress to direct funds from the Health Resources and Services Administration and Medicare to help with this workforce crisis. So taking a deeper dive here, they told lawmakers that a recent survey of nearly 20,000 employees at more than 250 EMS organizations found overall turnover ranges from 20 to 30 percent each year. So they say with that kind of turnover, ambulance services face 100% turnover every four years.